Let's talk about Bob Iger now, who, of course, is now running things back, running things at Disney because, you know, when it comes to Disney, they didn't know what the hell they were doing, you know? I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, Bob Chapek obviously is no longer there. It seems kind of weird. There's some sketchiness there that I've been kind of hearing where it's just like, wait a minute. So was he just like there to do that? And then they're going to bring Iger back because I don't know. It's just, it's, it's all a crazy situation. I don't really know how to look at it, especially a process, anything that I've heard when it comes to this whole thing. Like, did they just want to be Chep to Chepek just be like, kind of like a fall guy. Just blame it on that guy. The reason why Disney now has a cash flow problem is because of Bob, not Bob Iger, but Bob Chepek, whatever, how you ever say your name. But yeah, so I'm just kind of wondering, I don't know. Could be, who knows? A lot of sleazy shit happening. And what I keep on telling you guys, too, is the fact that, you know, Warner Brothers Discovery is under the spotlight. Zazla is being looked at as like an evil, evil person, obviously, when it came to the whole Batgirl stuff. But, I mean, they're all, again, all the companies are struggling when it comes to a cash flow. So, you know, apparently, you know, Iger's supposed to save the day. But is he going to save the day? Who knows? But apparently, according to this uh, article right here, when it comes to, um, when it comes to, uh, uh, deadline. They uh, posted this article right here that says uh, Bob Iger tells Disney Town Hall hiring freeze still in effect. No new acquisitions plan and not merging with Apple. So a lot of people were wondering if like Apple was actually going to end up buying Disney and a lot of like rumors were out there. And he goes, there's a lot to do. Bob Iger told Disney staffers today of the state of the company. He is now running again quickly. He said he added right there. 71 years old. Jesus Christ. Uh, 71 year old executive also said that a hiring freeze, his, uh, uh, the hiring freeze, his pink slip predecessor, Bob Chebek, announced on November 11th is still in place, offering his perspective from being outside the company the past year after decades at Disney. Iger told staffers additionally that rumors of a merger or deal with Apple were just that rumors. The man who bought Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and Fox. Good God. <laughs> I mean, you want to talk about who's Thanos here? Jesus Christ. Um, for Disney during this last stint as uh, CEO also noted that the House of Mouse wasn't looking to make any more big ticket acquisitions anytime soon. Unless they really need it. Unless the cash flow problem gets even worse. So it might. I don't know. Held in front of a crowd at Disney's main corporate campus, the town hall was live streamed Monday for employees around the globe to tune in, uh, tune into taking questions after a breezy five minute speech. Iger Josh that his wife pushed him to exit retirement so he wouldn't contemplate a White House bid again. Wow. A White House bid? Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, White House um, bid. I don't know about that. Bob Iger running for president. I mean, that would be very interesting. But yeah, there you go. But yeah, there's some interesting stuff that's happening. But yeah, the hiring freeze still happening. Uh, you're going to hear about more layoffs. It's just what's going to happen. That's what's happening all over the place because they have. I mean, again, what I keep on saying, too, is the fact that it's like they're paying. They're just paying too much for a lot of this stuff. It's a lot of this stuff. It's like as long as you're paying people that are making this movie and you're, you know, you're not paying Dwayne. Jo well, I mean, obviously that's, you're not paying these actors like fucking 30, 40 million dollars and these directors and producers so much money where there's not enough to go around. I mean, Jesus Christ, of course, you're going to have a cash flow problem, especially when people aren't subscribing to your streaming service as, uh, as much as you want them to. But of course, Bob Iger says the top priority is to make, you know, uh, to, to solve the cash flow problem that is when it comes to streaming, which means most likely ads or upping the subscriber, you know, once a month uh, fee. So just what's happening. But uh, all that's still going on. But, yeah, you're going to be hearing about layoffs. You're going to be hearing about all that stuff. Garen freaking Tia, just the way it is. They're all doing it. I don't know why it's it's not just one. It's not just one or the other. So 